In this session, we're going to read from 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 1 through 7, and we're going to talk about how the rainbow relates to the wrath to come. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. This is now, beloved, the second letter that I have written to you, and in both of them I stir up your sincere mind by reminding you that you should remember the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that in the last days mockers will come, walking after their own lusts and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For from the day that the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. I kid you not that even some of the videos that I posted about the end times, people were saying, oh, you know, they've been always saying that Jesus is going to come back. Oh, you know, for, for thousands of years, they said that Jesus would come back. They are the fulfillment of what Peter said here. Verse 5, for they willfully forget that there were heavens from of old and an earth formed out of water and amid water by the word of God. By which means the world that existed then, being overflowed with water, perished. So let's pause here for a second. The world was created out of water. And way back then, in the ancient day, the world was destroyed by water. Now that is talking about Noah's flood. The flood that happened during Noah's day. Verse 7, But the heavens that exist now, and the earth, by the same word, have been stored up for fire, being reserved against the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. So let's think about this for a minute. By the word of God, the heavens and the earth were created out of water. Also, by the word of God, the earth was destroyed by water in the days of Noah. And it says, by that same word, the heavens and the earth are reserved for fire. Now, in the days of Noah, just after the flood, it says the rainbow appeared. And it says that that rainbow is a sign of God's covenant that he would not destroy the earth again by water. But this passage of scripture here, this passage of Holy Scripture, links that with the coming destruction by fire. And don't forget, in context here, in this same book, it talks about how the elements will melt with fervent heat. The fire will come and destroy everything. And it uses Sodom and Gomorrah as an example of what will come. Sodom and Gomorrah, localized destruction by fire. But this is talking about a global destruction by fire. Actually, more than a global, a universal destruction by fire. So now, every time I see the rainbow, I think about God's covenant, how he would not destroy the earth again by water. But I also think about his promise that he will, in like manner, and by the same word, destroy the earth by fire. And he points to Sodom and Gomorrah as an example.